this after a pretty full day which isn't done yet so it is still kind of early um but i decided that i would film this anyway because i am not sure how the rest of the night is gonna go namely because alcohol is more than likely involved so yeah anyway i came after wolfing down on some cheese and crackers realizing that my windows were staring wide open while doing it and i was kind of like you know what we all gotta eat if someone for whatever reason was in the driveway and passed by i guess they would just think i was hungry and i would have offered them some anyway today was an interesting one let me first start off by saying and this is a part of the story let me get y'all some of my personal business all right this is some of my personal business um, which isn't going to be personal anymore, obviously. It's not really personal, but... Anyway, so recently I started on Tinder because I felt like... Like, okay, even though I don't think I have... No, I don't think. I don't have room in my life for an actual boyfriend. I do think that, um... I... I... I, you know, I do feel like I can socialize more and date some more and stuff like that. So... Basically, I, I've been on Tinder for not very long and I've been matching with people and stuff like that and it's really funny. This also is a part of the story. So don't don't be like, why are you telling me this? This is a part of the story. I've realized all of a sudden, dude, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I am random, clickbait suddenly for the young ones. I don't know if I have a sign saying, hello, I am Jackie, I can train you. But suddenly these young ass dudes rolling up on me and I'm like, like, I mean, I don't understand. Anyway, I, I mean, I'm not like being like, oh my god, da, da, but I mean like, honestly, I don't know if you women out there who are like on the other side of the either late 20s to 30s get what I'm saying, but like these dudes be like coming and coming hard. Like these men got talk, B. They have talk. Um, oh, for Beijing, non Beijings, B is kind of like dude or mate or whatever. Anyway, the yes, the letter B is like dude or mate. Anyway, don't ask, don't ask about our ways. Just embrace them, love us, we be awesome. Anyway, um, so yeah, so like these young ass dudes been like rolling up on me and like I was resistant initially. I was really resistant because I was like, you know, I when I when I was younger. I dated someone pretty seriously who was younger than me and we were very serious and then it kind of turned out that he was very indecisive and yeah so I'm not saying I was perfect but in that situation he was pretty indecisive and it kind of like made me really nervous about dating people who are younger than I am um, but you know I was really resistant to it and then I was like you know what whatever you know it's not like you're settling down and marrying anyone so yeah, so basically, um, like, um, one dude, um, he's, like, in for a bit, and I was like, you know what, why not? Let's, let's do a thing, let's go out. But obviously, I don't know him or anything, so, um, my trusty, trusty, um, partner in crime, Ashley, yeah, I calling you out, girl. Um, Ashley was <laughs> in tow for the entire day. We had a really great day, we went to... We went to River Bay, uh, where did we go first? Yeah, we went to River Bay first, because like, I kind of wanted to show him like the sights and stuff. So we went to River Bay first, then from River Bay we went down to the East Coast, and then we went, we came back up to Farley Hill, and that's where things got a bit hairier, because, well, yeah, I, I, I won't go into any hairy details otherwise, but anyway. Greasy! But anyway, um, things got a bit hairier um, a little later on, because... Um, it was okay. I was parking to walk into Farley Hill, and immediately I looked over at Ashley and I was like, Do you smell that? So she was like, Yeah, the two of us are like out of the car because we're like, Come at me, bruh, come at me. Talking about the car, but we're like, We're like, Come at me because we want to know what's going on. So, super girl moves, start getting pull out. Ashley's like, Yeah, so y'all got cool it. And I'm like, you know, I don't know because I was driving my uh, roommate Deandra's car. I was like, I don't know if we got cool it or not, but let me go and check. So, you know, we go, we pop the trunk, there's cool it. I'm like, yeah, we got cool it. You know, the mechanic in us coming out, right? Anyway, so then Ashley already like, yeah, we got to pop the top. And then the, the cool girl element, cool, know what the fuck we're doing girl element kind of faded for just a few seconds because we couldn't figure out how to, how to get the freaking bonnet open. 
Um, we knew it had to be somewhere in the near the dash, well, not the dashboard, but you know, like close to the steering wheel or whatever area. But we were just like puzzled. Um, but then we found it, and then bad girl come back out. We're like, yeah, we ready for this, you know? We 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 hard. We we going in hard. Anyway, so then Ashley's like unscrewing the coolant thingy, and then you know she does the whole you know really really you know I know what I'm talking about shit, and she's like, yeah, oh my god, this whole this is really empty, you know? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, really empty. And then you know she's like, um, yeah, let me let me pour in some. She pouring, and I mean this girl barely spilling. I want y'all to understand, right? If y'all in a coolant emergency and you need somebody to pour without spilling, Ashley is your woman, okay? All right, anyway. So Ashley pouring without really spilling, all right? This green thing going in and she's like, yeah, we good. Suddenly I realize that Ashley's quiet. And then I realize that Ashley has this expression of, what the F is happening? So I paused for a minute. I was like, oh God, please no. Cause we far as ass from home. We are far from home. So I'm like, oh no, 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 not now, not today. What was happening is that we had a leak in the actual coolant bottle. So it wasn't, it didn't make any sense even putting it in because the damn bottle was leaking. So as it's being poured in, you're seeing the green just flowing down. And basically that's the moment when I guess I could have had radioactive coolant powers, but you know, nothing happened and I decided I wasn't gonna put my hand in there and see what happened next. Anyway, so basically we, are kind of on a pause moment and um, we're like okay so maybe there's duct tape that we can tape it because there's a hole in the coolant bottle basically so like maybe we can tape it with duct tape until we get back um go in the trunk because i'm still like all right you know i'm still trying to have this we hard we got this there's no duct tape um the dude we're with is kind of like i wish i could help you guys but i'm joking so and he was helping but anyway, um, so then I saw these guys like in a, in a big truck or whatever, and I'm like, all right, you know what? Maybe they have something. It turns out, people, these men were mechanics who have a mechanic place like in the middle of nowhere. Cause when they went, we were like, cause I, I kind of, they, they were like, okay, you know, we'll help you. This is after like complete hitting on Jackie. I got a number apparently. I'm like, I, I don't even know what they on me. I just was like. I just you know, it's like, but anyway, so basically now we're gone, and the guy said he's gonna help us out, and da da da, and he just went, and like, when they got in the truck and drove off, I kind of looked at Ashley for a second, I was like, what are the chances that he's gonna steal our food bottle? I mean, it seemed really slim, but at the same time, considering that we're in the middle of nowhere, and he kind of drove going further into the middle of nowhere, we were like, but then he turns through this gap that I've never seen in my life. That's the thing about Barbados, right? Barbados has these places that like, you legit sit around and you're like, but where you were all the time? Like how, how do you exist? You know, anyway. So basically they came back. Um, I was like, the entire time, because I got hit on so forcefully, I was like, all right, Ashley, this, this is our plan, game plan. I told the dude, uh, okay, you're gonna be really close to me all the time, so it's gonna look like, yeah, you know, we like, yeah, kind of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Ash, you're gonna talk all the time. Ashley was a champ. I tell you people, this is the reason, right? This is the reason we have it. She was a champ. She took most of the blood, and all of a sudden I right hear, you know, she had to be like saying that she was married and stuff, because I don't know what happened next. Let me just play that way. Anyway, but all that aside, we managed to get back down the road unscathed. Um, it was a great day overall. Um, it was like for the uh, part of the morning into the afternoon. Uh, when we got back, um, we had to do some work, and I still have some more to do, but I, like I said, I said I would do this first and then get back to it. Um, but yeah, but like it, it, overall, it's been a pretty good day. Um, as for the Tinder experience on a whole, I find that I swipe right more often with people who aren't from Barbit. To be fair, I honestly don't swipe left, sorry, I don't swipe right very often on Bajans. Um, yeah, y'all could cuss me, but reasons. I just, I don't very often. Um, but I find I do swipe right a lot with like, sorry, what am I saying? I do 
So break in transmission as my phone told me that I did not have enough space. So yeah, let me make this really quick. The ending, yeah, I think what I was saying, I hope I remember is, yeah, it took me a while to get rid of shit. Anyway, um, right, I usually match with people from overseas and um, I, ha I do have a little thing for like the, I mean, I have a thing for, for all types if you're, you know, if you're an interesting dude, but um, anyway, you know what? I'll talk about this in another, another thing, I think. Yeah, because I'm going to let this one end. And just say, Tinder, my overall thoughts, I think it should be like Grindr. That's my overall thought. Why do I know about the gay version of Tinder? River Bay in Barbados. River Bay in Barbados. This is River Bay. It's a really beautiful point in Barbados. Used to be even nicer before seaweed went rampant. The Sargassum seaweed. But yeah. We're at Barclays Park going up. You can call it man. Going up a, a random path to the top. <laughs> Ashley is behind me. And yeah, this is my workout for today. On the other side is the sea, but over here is all of this. So we will see what it's like when we get to the top. But right now, this is just... A lot of walking and shit.